YouTube, what is financial intelligence and how can I use it to make money? Let's find out. I did a lot of research and there are a lot of different interpretations as to what financial intelligence really is. Here's one of them. Financial intelligence is the gathering of information about the financial affairs of entities of interest to understand their nature and capabilities and predict their intentions. Generally, the term applies in the context of law enforcement and related activities. One of the main purposes of financial intelligence is to identify financial transactions that may involve tax evasion, money laundering, or some other criminal activity. Well, I'm not talking about that. YouTube, I am not talking about that. Nine, nine, nine. When I talk about financial intelligence, I'm thinking of knowledge that can actually help you elevate your financial game. But that's a very big and complex subject because what might work for me does not necessarily work for you. But taxes are the same for everybody, no? Not really. Let me give you an example. The dude you're watching right now, the one who is talking at this very moment, was born and raised in Austria and started investing in real estate when he was younger in Austria. Now the real estate that he accumulated now generates income on a monthly basis, which also gets taxed in Austria. Now if this very, very, very intelligent dude lived in California, which he used to, he would have paid another 10% taxes on his income from Austria. How? Because California has a tax law that allows them to tax everybody who lives in California on their worldwide income. Mr. Worldwide! But now this handsome, brilliant dude lives in Florida, which saves him 23% in taxes every single year. So if you weren't born outside the US and if you don't have real estate income from another country, why do you need to know that? In my opinion, you don't. Unless you wanna be a tax advisor, then you need to know everything. Financial intelligence, for me personally, means that you need to understand in the like whatever current situation you're in, what opportunities and what possibilities do you have to make more money, to save more money, to get to financial freedom. And I'm not just talking about making more money, even though that helps a lot, I'm talking about knowing your taxes, um, income, expenses, your uh, credit score, all those small things that add up that will help you elevate your financial game. When I first came up with the idea of making this video of financial intelligence, I was a little bit overwhelmed myself because I was like, how can I pack all the information into one video? Because I don't even know every single possibility to save money and work tax efficient. But then I realized I don't have to. I can just start a playlist called financial intelligence and this is the first video and then I'll just add more and more videos to this and I'll show you exactly what mistakes I made so you don't have to make the same. Let me tell you another personal story. But before I do that, can you do me a favor and help me out with the YouTube algorithm and just gently destroy the like button? I'll wait. It's, it's, it's down here. Here, or here, I think, I think it's here, or maybe here. Somewhere down there, just. Oh wow, thank you. Whoa, that, that was fast, thank you so much. Okay, so when I first moved to the United States, I was unaware of the fact that there is something like a credit score. Yeah, I know, rookie mistake. So for the first year and a half, I did not spend a single dollar on a credit card. I used cash and I used my debit card, which means I did not build credit for a year and a half. That's painful, just thinking about that, that's really painful. And then when I started my first business in the United States after receiving my O1 talent visa, my business advisor looked at me Funny. She was like, your credit score is zero. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't have any debt. Yeah. In my defense, in Austria, we don't have a system like that. In Austria, if you have money in your bank account, you get a very big credit card. And you can also take out loans and you can do whatever the fuck you want. Not so much in the United States. This mistake of not understanding the financial system within the US cost me a lot of money and a lot of time. So in the upcoming videos, I wanna talk about things that you can address right now to elevate your financial game, to speed up the process to financial freedom. Let me know in the comment section below what topics you would like to hear about because like I said, it's different for every single one of us and maybe one of you is in the same position that I was in and you can learn from my mistakes and Maybe something I've learned over the past couple of years can help you out as well. And then I'll make a video and post it for you. Thank you so much for watching guys. And don't forget to collect your free money in the description below. Peace.